Hi guys, so I'm back with some more stuff from iMats, and the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the stuff that I got from Inglot. So, of course I went to Inglot, like everybody wants to go at iMats, and I picked up several things. So the first thing I picked up was this blush. It is a very red, red. <laughs> there, it looks like really scary for a blush, look at that. Um, but I picked it up because I like using blushes that are really pigmented and blending them out a lot. I think if they're very reddish, it's easy to get this color that's just a really, really pretty flush, as long as you're careful. Um, and you know, if you go a little too heavy, you could like maybe mix a little powder on top of it and, and make it a little bit lighter. But, um, this one is so pigmented. And I also, I thought I would use it for kind of a duo purpose, both as a, um, a blush and then I thought I could use it as a bright, um, eyeshadow as well, but then it kind of made me sad. I was going to go to depot it so I could use it as an eyeshadow and put it in a Z palette. And I read on the back it says, warning, not to be used in eye area. So, anyway, I don't know why I can put this on my face and not in my eye area, but it's what it says, so I guess I'm going to I'm gonna go with that. And this, I think, I can't even tell what the name, what the number is for you guys. I'm not sure. There's a number on here that says 66. I'm not sure if that's what the shadow is because they all of their things go by number. So anyway, that might be what it is. That's the only thing I really see because there's another more complicated number, but I think that might be like a product number. Anyway, anyway. Um, so I got that shadow and, and then I got um, this blush which is like a really pretty peachy orange color and it's good for I think most skin tones except maybe the the deeper skin tones and this one is in um, I think it's blush 50 but I've got a magnet here so I can show you yeah blush 50 so I've been enjoying that and then I also picked up um, some of these these containers um, to put eyeshadows in. I picked up the ones that hold 10 because I actually went to Inglot last summer when I went to New York City and I picked up at the time these big palettes that hold 20 um, but they ended up being like really difficult to use. I found them very very annoying. Uh, they're very heavy and then um, whenever I would try to get them apart um, they would end up like nicking an eyeshadow or um, the most annoying thing is that these things have a little magnet on the back of them and whenever I would slide it like this it would always like pick up one of the shadows and it would stick to the magnet and it would pull it out of the pan and so you just go to get a shadow real quick and all of a sudden you got one of them like flopped out of the pan like sticking to the thing and, and that would happen like almost every time it was just really annoying um, and they're just big and bulky they're huge you can see it's like giant. <laughs> I don't know. It's. I just found them to be very annoying and I found that I wasn't really using my Inglot shadows very much because of the annoyance of having to get them out. Um, so I ended up buying a bunch of these 10 size ones instead which is totally what I recommend because I have absolutely no issue with using these. Um, they're just very easy to slide. Um, although, look at that. See, see what I'm talking about? That's the first time it's done that though. Ugh. See how it pulls it out? It pulls it out of the pan! In Glot, you guys need to figure something out where that does not happen. Anyway, um, that's the first time that's done that. I'm actually really surprised that that happened here. But <laughs> anyway, I haven't had any other issues with it whatsoever. And so this one, I just put like all my neutral, um, like gray colors, grays and blacks. They look really brown for some reason. I don't know why they're not actually brown. They're all grays. Um, and then this one I put all of my neutral browns in. I did it again. I can't believe that. I just did this one and I pulled it apart and it did it again. I seriously have not had that trouble with these though, um, until right now. And it would happen on camera, of course, but I'm not going to delete it because then that would be like dishonest. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, hopefully it doesn't do that again. But, um, and so the ones that I actually bought at this iMats were these, um, teals and greens and blues, and these just look so gorgeous in person. So, um, that's what I got. Yep. 
And then I also got this one, which is really awesome. Um, I thought this was really great because I, I was thinking of travel. Um, this one you can put like a powder, you can put a blush, and then you can put two eyeshadows in it. And I just picked like a highlight shade and um, one of their shadows where they sell that have like three different parts to it. So you could do like, you know, an easy neutral eye. And then I was thinking, um, I actually ordered from them because they had a 20% off like coupon code that they gave to everybody. I, or I placed an order when I got back and I ordered another one of these because I was thinking I could do two of these when you travel and I can have like the powder in one and then and a deeper shade for like contouring in another and then I could do a pink blush and then a peach blush in the other and then I could do like you know one of these could be like a highlight and then you know brown tones and then you could have two other shadows so you could make like three or you know some three or four eyeshadow looks probably and then you'd have like the pinks and the peaches um, to match uh, different different lip looks and, and whatever so, um, so I was really excited to get that, and that's everything that I got from Inglot, I believe. Yes. Um, and so then I went to Stila, and I actually didn't really get anything from Stila. I picked up, like, some palettes. They had a deal of all four of their palettes that are their big palettes right now. Um, you could buy all four of them for $80, and so I picked those up for my sister, um, because she wanted wanted me to get those for her while I was out there. Um, but all I got was a new shadow that they've just come out with these little these little trio things. Um, it says Stila Stay All Day Wet to Set Eyeshadow Trio. So you can use these either wet or dry and they're just kind of shimmery, normal. I liked the colors and that it was all in one thing so I, I picked that up. And then I also got from, um, I went over to Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics which was really popular. Um, uh, booth this year and I got three lip tars so these are the three that I got I got grandma which is like a peachy kind of color I got red black dahlia which is this one right here which looks super scary um, and then this one I'm not really sure what it's called I think it's called NSFW um, that's what it says where the other names were NSFW it's a red um, and so the reason why I got this black one is because I asked the lady there um, what the most popular shades were and she said this was one of the most popular ones because um, she showed me how you can do it really black and build it up so that it's almost black so purpley but you can really easily blend it out to a very pretty magenta and then you know you can have any shade in between you can just build it up so I thought that was pretty and I really don't have anything in this color it's not one that I usually gravitate towards so I wanted to try it because it was different and then um, I got the red which is just very red and then I got this orange one or peachy kind of orange one and I just thought it would be awesome for spring um, and so you can make it very bright orange or you can blend it out to be really pretty um, peachy color and of course you can mix these with anything um, they even had at their booth, I thought this was so cool, like they had black and they had white and she said if you mix the white with anything you know you'll make it look more washed out and then if you need to deepen it up you can just mix a little black with it and I didn't get those because I got these three instead and I had bought so many other products but um, you know I thought that was really cool and I might go for that in the future, we'll see um, and so the next thing I want to talk about is Naked Cosmetics and so I got, so Naked Cosmetics sells pigments, um, pure pigments that don't have any additives in them. That's their big thing. And so they come in like these little stacks of six different ones and I actually just have four there here. That would be like a stack of six. And so they were selling the stacks of six for I think $20 or $25. Um, it depended on how many you bought and I, th I think think that's right. I actually paid with cash. My friend got a couple and so I got one more and then I just handed her cash so I can't really remember but I think it's something like that. Um, and so as far as their pigments go, um, they were talking about how it was better than like Bare Minerals and a lot of the other ones who sell loose uh, eyeshadow pigments um, because they don't put any additives and like Bare Minerals does. But I've had those Bare Minerals shadows for a really long time and after I got these home and swatched them and everything, like I can't really tell a difference pigment-wise in them. So, I don't know. I guess it makes me feel a little better that I'm not putting bad stuff on my skin. But, um, otherwise, you know, I don't know. I, I could take it or leave it, I guess. 
uh, as far as being really amazing. They were a good price. They were a really good price and the pigment is really pretty on them. I mean, they're really nice colors. They had a lot of colors that were really different or whatever. You can just do a lot with them since they're pigments. Um, but the thing that I really liked the most that I got from them was this little product called Gym Powder. And it's just like one of the things. So this is what they look like. It was like $15 for one of these, but this stuff is brand new, they said. And it looks so cool. It is the coolest sparkly stuff you've ever seen. It looks so amazing. Um, I mean, it looks like it looks like diamonds. They said it was 3D sparkle is what they called it. And I don't know if you can tell at all, but it looks like a diamond. I swatched it for my sister when um, I got home with this stuff, and she was like, oh, looks like diamonds. So, uh, I mean, it really does. And this stuff you can use it wet or dry. So um, I don't have any water with me. I wish I did. Um, but when she, when she did it on my friend's hand and put it with water, and, and it was just... I was like, oh, I had to have that. So um, the gem powders come in different, um, they're all just sparkly, like a normal sparkly, but they have kind of like a, I don't know, like an undertone or like a subtle color to them of some, some type. And so this one was the gold one. So it really just looks like normal sparkle with maybe a gold sort of very subtly. And, and they had like a, like a pink one, but it didn't look like pink sparkle. It just was like a subtle like pink. I don't know how to explain it without you actually seeing it, but um, that's what it was. So I'm going to cram real quick into this video two more things, and then I will do another video on brushes. So um, the other things I picked up real quick, I picked up a bunch of nail stickers from this place called Kalen Printed Premium Stickers. And so I've already used one of them, but I got five, and it was five of these different ones for $20 which I thought was a good deal, and I love these stickers, so I got these. Um, however, I've recently figured out, since I bought these, and since I used some of the Essie ones, that apparently all these nail stickers are not the same. Not all nail stickers are made equally. Um, so, the Sally Hansen ones, and I think some of the other ones, are made of actual real nail polish, and so when you put them on, they really, really stay on. But, like, these are just literally, like, stickers, and then you have to put like a clear coat on top of it if you want it to actually stay. And I think that must be with, like what the Essie ones are too because I tried one of the new Essie ones and I, it did not work well. I, I just was not impressed compared to the Sally Hansen ones. Even though the Sally Hansen ones were cheaper. Um, but anyway, so I picked up those and then I also went to a place called Act 5 which is a new company out of Canada and all their products were 60% off because they were trying to get their products out there and they were a new company and this was their first trade show they said and so I picked up two mascaras from them because they were really cheap they were like I don't know eight dollars or something like that um, so I got one that was like a false fiber mascara and it's it's alright it's pretty good especially for that price and then I picked up another one which is called their full effect mascara and it's it's pretty good too and then I also was most excited to pick up these two little, um, they had um, cream foundation, uh, which came in a little thing like this. And I went to swatch their cream foundation and I put it on like where I have my veins right here. That's how I kind of see something conceals really good. I like to do that. And it concealed so well that I really thought it was actually concealer. And I was like, is this a concealer? Because this is actually a really big package for a concealer. I mean, usually they're a lot smaller than this. And she was like, no, it's a foundation. So um, I wanted to pick up two and try it as a foundation and as a concealer. And so she handed me these two, and I didn't realize until I got back to the hotel um, later that she actually handed me two powders and not foundations. And it was like after I met it closed, so I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't return it. So I called their um, phone number that I found on their website and the girl was so nice and so helpful and she told me she was going to give um, the number to their um, representative, like the local somebody or whatever, and she said, and her name is the same as yours, and she was just really nice. And so I thought I was going to get a phone call from her, um, but then I never heard from her and that was... I don't know, like four or five days ago, so I think I'll call again and see if I can maybe get the thing that I actually wanted, but um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so that's enough on this video. That was kind of, I feel like I've talked for forever. I'm getting kind of tired, so um, I will let you guys go from this video, but um, when we come back, I am going to talk about Hakuhodo brushes, because I picked up several Hakuhodo brushes and some other brushes that I picked up, so 
Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.